This video is about the double fold binder attachment C21 on the Overlock Cover Stitch Combo Machine L890. The binder folds the upper and lower tape edge and sews tapes cut 36 mm 1 3 8 of an inch wide. The finished binding is 10 mm 3 8 of an inch wide. The binder comes with one screw to attach it to the accessories holder. To attach the binder onto the machine, use the accessories holder. The accessories holder contains two M3 screws for Bernina and two M4 screws for Burnett machines. Accessories holder and binder can also be used on the Burnett cover chain stitch machines. Attachment and alignment of the accessories holder and binder is the same for C21 and C22. Attach the binder to the connecting piece of the accessories holder. Attach the accessories holder to the cover stitch insert. Our tip, align the attachment all the way to the left to reduce tolerances. Loosen the locking screw on the swivel arm and pull the binder to the front so that it can be positioned in front of the tip of the presser foot. Tighten the screw. Loosen the screw of the connecting piece and align the binder as far to the left as needed to have the folding edge approx 2 mm left of the left needle. Tighten the screw. The binder and the presser foot are close but do not touch. Our tip. For threading or opening the covers, swing the binder out. Our example shows the narrow cover stitch with the left and center needle. We recommend to use the cover and chain stitch foot C13. Cut the tape at 36 millimeters 1 3 8 of an inch width and the end at an angle or to a point. Feed the tape into the guide, pull a few centimeters or inches out of the binder channel. Swing the binder into sewing position and lower the presser foot onto the tape. Secure the tape with a few stitches. Check the position of the stitching on the binding and adjust the binder if required. Guide the fabric edge firmly into the binder so making sure the binding and fabric are unobstructed as they feed through the binder. Our tip, if a fold forms in the binding, cut it one or two millimeters narrower. So regular bindings quickly and easily. Our tip for inside curves, stretch the tape slightly. For sewing outer curves, slightly shorten the stitch length. Sew slower. Our tip 
When sewing circles, select a slightly larger distance from the left needle. For smaller curves, raise the presser foot slightly every few stitches and reposition the material behind the needles under the presser foot to the left to allow easier positioning of the material in front of the presser foot. Needle stop down and the knee lifter ease this sewing technique. Sew even relatively small curves successfully. Our tip, when sewing tubular items, sew the binding first before closing the tube. Our tip, if you want it to be exact, baste this spot with the sewing machine. Produce straps or belt loops easily using the double fold binder. Alternatively, use a chain stitch for straps. For a chain stitch with the binder and foot C13, use the left needle. The double fold binder is also ideal for bias cut woven tapes. The double fold binder attachment C21 for individual bindings with a personal touch. Bernina, made to create.